guys, it's Miss Maya from the Green Free Library here to share another story time with you. Welcome to spring. That's right, we're in a new season, which we'll talk about more in a minute. Uh, first, I want to say hi to my story time friends Anna and Peter, Kate and Andrew, Ella, Lydia, Quinn, Sari, Parker, Stanley, and Henry, and baby Charlie. And hi to all the other children who come to the library for story time, and welcome to everyone else who's watching. Now that the library is open for browsing by appointment, I'm excited and happy uh, that I'm going to see some of you this week. And since I'm happy, I think we should sing, if you're happy and you know it. What three things do we need to be able to do in this song? Clap, stomp, and shout hooray. Right, okay. Well, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. All right. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Hooray! <laughs> all right, super job, guys. Let's sit down. Show me your hands. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Give a little clap. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Lay them in your lap. Very good. So I said we're in a new season, which is spring. Has anybody seen any signs of spring? Uh, I've seen some. I saw my first robin a week or two ago, and I heard some geese, though I couldn't see them. And I also have seen quite a few of those little white flowers that only come up in the spring. I don't know if they're called snowdrops or snowcaps, but they're really pretty. So uh, even though it's new season, our month hasn't changed, though. It's still what month? March, right, okay. So let's get our board and see if we can spell that together. I bet we can because we've been practicing. What letter do we need to start with? Makes an mm sound. M, right, and there it is. Okay, what do we need next? A, very good. I've got to get that letter out of the way, okay. And then we need something that has a er sound. R, right, then S, S, C, very good, and one last letter, H, all right, let me see if I can make that look a little straighter there, not very, <laughs> there we go, March, okay, very good, so now we need our cat in the hat calendar, let me just get that here. So today is Wednesday, March 24th. So we need to get some fish on here. What numbers do we need to cover up? What days? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Very good. So what do we need to do first? That's right. We need our glue stick. Here we go. Get it on all those numbers. There were seven of those numbers. 18, 19, 21, 22, 23, and 24. All right. Now we need some fish. We need some red fish and some blue fish. And I've got some of those. It's hard to hold on to them, though, sometimes. And there's some blue fish. Okay. Here we go. Let's get our calendar up here. See if I can not drop our fish. So, we need to cover up 18. Can we see it? Do I have it up high enough? There we go. And 19. Right? 20. 
and 21. I'll get some bluefish now. And no, 22. Ready? Here we go. 23. One more. Today, 24. All right. Look at that. Our cat in the hat calendar is almost done. Today is our last day for celebrating Dr. Seuss, and the book I chose for today is one uh, that I wasn't very familiar with, but I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. It's called, There's a Wocket in My Pocket. Have you ever heard of a wocket? At Dr. Seuss, he made up a lot of words, didn't he? <laughs> Let's see. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Or a was it in your closet? Did you ever feel that way? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that zelf up on the shelf I have talked to him myself. <laughs> Did you see the elf way up there? <laughs> That's the kind of house I live in. There's a ink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But that yachtle in the bottle. Some are friendly, some are not. I like the zable on the table and the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. There he is. Mm -hmm. All those nubbards in the cupboards, they're good fun to have about. But that nooth groosh on my toothbrush, I guess that should have been nooth grush on my toothbrush. Him, I could do without. I messed up that one. That's the fun thing about Dr. Seuss. When you read them, they're tricky. <laughs> the only one I'm really scared of is the bug under the rug. And that Quimney up the chimney? I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zal scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. That's a lot of creatures in the cellar. And the geeling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. <laughs> And the Zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in. And I hope we never leave it. A findo in my window. The end. That was another fun one. I'll take this book back to the library. And in a few days, it'll be ready to be borrowed. For our art project today, we're going to make our own wocket. Uh, the best thing about this project is you can use bits and pieces left over from other craft projects. Uh, you'll need something for the Wacket's body, though. I used a craft stick. You could also use a popsicle stick or even a round clothespin. Uh, you'll need some glue and a marker and Google Eyes if you have them. Uh, also, any bits of string or yarn you might have. You decide what you want your Wacket to look like and then you glue things on the stick, okay? I made a Mrs. Wocket and I used some yellow yarn that I had. I don't know if you remember, but from my lion mask, I had this left over. We made that a while ago. And I had a feather that actually came off a kitty toy, I think. And I put some Google eyes on and drew a little smiley face. And then I had some colored dots left over and they're for buttons. Then I made a Mr. Wocket. And I had leftover gray yarn that I used for his hair. And it gave him some eyebrows and a face and more Google eyes. 
and then a uh, lovely purple yarn for a tie. So how about that? Huh? What do you think? So now what? Now I need to stick them in my pocket. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, look, I have two pockets. I can put one in each pocket. And there you have your walking in your pocket. <laughs> how about that? All right. So uh, just use your imagination and have fun with your walkets. Now it's time to play Riddle Me This. All right. Last week's riddle was, I'm always running, but I never get hot or tired or go anywhere. What am I? The correct answer is a refrigerator. And we had a correct answer this week. My story time friend Ella is the winner. All right, she sent in a correct answer. Now, Ella already has an appointment uh, to come in and browse uh, the books this week so she can pick up her prize then. You ready for our last riddle? Listen carefully. You break me before you can use me. What am I? I'm going to give you a hint this time. It, the answer is something you eat. Right? So if you think you know the answer and you want to enter for a chance at a prize, here's what you do. Write your name and answer down on paper and put it in an envelope and put it in the book drop on the porch of the Green Free Library. Or you can call the library with your name and answer. Or you can email the answer to the email address that will be in the description of this video. The deadline for the, this riddle is 2 p.m. on Sunday, March 28th. Now, if you aren't a patron of the Green Free Library, please submit a contact phone number with your entry, okay? Next week, I'll reveal the answer and choose a winner from the correct entries. Remember, if you win, you have to be able to come to the library to pick up your prize because no prizes can be mailed and you can only win one time. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you had fun. I did. Make those lockets. Take care and thank you for watching the videos. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.